Setting the stage for the next couple weeks, I wanted to give a quick primer on setting up your virtual environment for working with Python 3. This is going to be for a Macintosh setup. If you want to work with Windows or Linux, that's totally up to you, but I will not have a setup video for those. I will also say that if you're very new to coding in Python or working with the terminal, this may not be the best place for you to start. And I would recommend taking in some other materials before moving forward. So in terms of installing Brew and Python 3, you can take a look at this link up here, which I'll also include in the blog and the YouTube notes. And then this here will tell you how to install virtualenv. It's really just this command, pip install virtualenv. Once you have both those things in place, you're ready for the best way, I think, to do simple Python development here. So I've got a directory here. This is an empty directory, and it's sitting in uh, my user home directory in, inside documents. And this is just going to be the place where we're going to work for now. You can really put this anywhere on your machine you like. As you can see, it's empty there. And I'm going to create a virtual M for us with the Python version being Python 3. And I'm going to call it myEnv. And this, what this is going to do is it's going to create a little directory for us called myEnv. And if you take a look inside myEnv, you can see it's got a bin. And the way we activate the Python virtual environment is we call source on bin slash activate here. And then you can see that we've got this little parentheses prepended to our terminal line here. And that's going to be telling us that we're now in our our Python environment, our virtual environment there. Now when I say Python, I automatically get version 3.4.2 and I also get the modules that are loaded into this version. So let me give you an example of how that's going to work in our project. Let's take a look outside the REPL there. So we are going to use uh, a Google Maps library here and with Python virtual environments we can use PIP to install that Google Maps locally to the environment. So let's check this out here. So Google Maps has a uh, module there called Google Maps. So let's just try this. Let's go into our REPL and let's say import Google Maps. We're going to get an error. It's going to say I have no module named Google Maps. All right, let's go outside and let's run the command we just got off the GitHub repo there for Google Maps. PIP install dash u Google Maps. It's going to quickly run this guy for us. Okay, cool. And now when we go inside our Python window here and we try and import that, we're not going to get an issue. Cool. So what this virtual environment is doing is it's allowing us to install all these modules locally to the environment. And it's really just the best way to work with whatever version of Python you want. Uh, for the record, this is 3.4.2. Uh, anything in the Python 3.2 and up range should be fine for our purposes.